Hello Bladers, we are talking about this guy, Armin Kusaba from Beyblade Burst Rise. In my opinion, Armin is on the underrated side of the side protagonist in Beyblade Burst. And when I say underrated, I am talking about as a character, not as a blader. Like, come on man, this guy is not beating Fi or Gwyn any time of the week. But he did have a decent character arc that I don't think a lot of people talked about, so I'm gonna talk about it. When we first meet Armin in the earlier episodes of Rise, we can easily tell that Armin is going to be this season's Rentaro Kiyama. He's going to put on the show initially, and then get wrecked. What the He always ends up losing to the newer blader of the week. While Armin is seen to be good at adapting in the middle of battles, it's usually not enough. He can have a solid game plan, he knows when to switch things up, but as Fumia said, How futile. Sadly, Armin was a mere stepping stone for other bladers to walk on. He was the punching bag. When the new blader of the week showed up, this guy was the guinea pig. This poor kid could not catch a good win for more than half of the series. He is the only one out of the main three bladers that doesn't get an evolution. And he's been here longer than freaking Delta. Ashindra as a Beyblade looked less and less impressive. He gets Hurricane and that looked pretty interesting until Fumia got it too, except in a better form as Ratchet. Oh, come on, man which absorbs spin power and also free spun for defense. Ugh, poor Armin. I had a strong feeling that this guy was going to get left in the dust, man. But then, episode 22 was released. In this episode, Armin became aware about how bad he was. Like, he was falling way behind at this rate. With the battle between the victories and Team Inferno intensifying, Armin finally realized that he can't stay bad. He has to get good and he has to get good fast, man. He gotta work out. And what is the best way to get stronger in Beyblade besides evolving your Beyblade? Cause that's obviously not happening. This dude needs to unlock Hyper Flux. And after a bunch of training and finally listening to his Beyblade for once, this dude does just that. Knowing Blint's track record, I had a strong feeling that this loser was going to be the one that gets stomped by Armin. But no, Delta is the one that beats this guy, and he beats him so bad that Blint decides to just leave. So that left Gwyn and Arthur. Gwyn was definitely not going to get wrecked by Armin, bro. There was just no way. So it had to be Arthur, right? And guess what? Armin does indeed fight Arthur. The stage is set. Armin is prepared and doing an intense battle, he loses. <laughs> but of course that isn't the end for our defeated hero. After some more encouragement from his friends, and with more determination than ever, in a couple more episodes down the line, Armin readies up for another try. And of course, Armin faces Arthur once again. This time, Armin knew for a fact that if he lost here, it was it. That was it for the victories. He had to win. Not just for himself, but for his team. And for the good of Beyblade as a whole. I guess. And finally, after so many failures, and so many bad losses, and so many disappointments, Armin... Not giving up! I'm gonna be the winner! You bet you are! Now what do you say we crank up the heat? Show this guy what you and I are all about! Yeah, tenacity, perseverance, and sticking it out! That's how I do things! Yeah! A Shindra! defeats Arthur in one of the most epic Beyblade battles of all time. I don't care what nobody says, Arthur versus Armin round two has to be one of the best Beyblade burst battles in the entire burst series. I do not care. The amount of emotion that was in this episode is just so good. I wish I could just 
spam the whole episode at you, but the more clips I show, the more likely I'm about to get copyright struck. So I'm not gonna do that. But seriously though, Armin's arc from ground zero to finally taking down Arthur, one of the strongest bladers during the Rise series, was just amazing to see. It was nice that the writers gave Armin the time of day to actually be able to have a redemption arc of some sort and become a lot more entertaining to watch. While I do think Armin is underrated, I can understand why a lot of people didn't really think that much of him. But let me know how you feel in the comments below. Do you think Armin was underrated? Do you think he was mid? Do you think he was trash? Do you just hate his Beyblade or hate his hair? Just let me know, bro. I love reading the comments that you like to send. It really does make my day. Thank you for watching and keep blading.